today's action is basically a continuation of what would have happened last Friday. We still have the same issues um, outside of what has been said by the management's press release. The issues still exist and we are here again highlighting Setlight. Executive Vice President of the OWTU, Marcus Cordner, as he spoke with members of the media on Thursday, he said workers want the commission to remove a number of its derelict vehicles from their workspace. The problem is that most of the vehicles are defective. Vehicles did leave, probably one or two, when they were repaired. Um, that has been something that has been discussing. The fleet is aged, and we have been asking and discussing stuff like that for the longest while, but no results has came from any of those discussions. Following last week's protest by workers, TN Tech released a statement assuring the public that all is well in terms of reliability of power supply. Mr. Cordner says that this is not the case. Well, they are saying what they are saying, but we on the ground here see different. Have you been contacted by the authorities to go back to the negotiation table? No, 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 not as yet. So what's the next move? The next move is that we're here until. Elizabeth Williams, TV6 News.